Alright guys, it is another dark, dreary, rainy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this gloomy Monday morning, July 12th, 2021, where the little dog and I have narrowly escaped being washed down the river here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, so the we have survived that climate disaster here on... Uh, July 12th and three more days of rain coming so we will see and uh, guys I know I promised you that we're going you might get two you might get two uh, chronicles of the collapse today I know we were going to talk about all of the billion at least billion sea animals dying and uh these heat waves, but I cannot believe it here on the mainstream media. <clears throat> we're going to go over there to the hellhole of India. Many stories coming out and we actually have some good news coming out of India. I, I, I never thought that I would utter the words in my entire life, good news coming out of India and we're going to start in Haipur, India, where a lightning strike kills 16 people taking selfies in India. They had 16 uh, people uh, running out in a beautiful lightning storm to uh, <clears throat> celebrate the fireworks. Ended up being crispy critters, but I got to remember what channel I'm on. So that was. You can decide for yourself whether 16 people getting turned into crispy critters in India taking selfies of a lightning storm is a good thing for the planet or not. But uh, we're going to get a little more serious <clears throat> before we, you know, jump into the main story. Uh, you know, yesterday was World Population Day and trying to find one mention of World Population Day. It shows up a day late and a dollar short. Several articles. First, we're going to peek in just a quick, uh, quick peek at this article. India set to overtake China as the most populous nation. We've been waiting for this. They're claiming... Uh, in 2027 that India will pass China. I'm predicting it will happen sooner than that. Uh, it is already home to 1.3 billion people. Uh, I like this guy. <clears throat> this is Bupinder Kumar. This is, he lives in a slum in Delhi, India, looking at his future in, of living in a slum. I don't know how old this man is. This is his prediction of his life in India over the next 20 years. Take it away, Bupinder Kumar, and say all we need to know about India in the next 20 years. Quote, in the next 20 years, people will turn into cannibals. There you go. You heard it from an Indian himself in 20, in the next 20 years, people, you know, in India at least, will turn into cannibals. And I do not believe this to ward off the cannibal Mad Max invasion I am absolutely flabbergasted. Several versions of this story on today's mainstream media. This is from some group calling called the Insider. India is proposing a two-child policy to keep its population under control, and it includes cash benefits for couples who opt for voluntary sterilization. So India is, is stepping on the third rail uh, for the second time. You know, they tried this back in the 1970s. Didn't work out that well 
let's wish India a little bit better luck. If it had been successful in the 1970s, maybe people would not be turning into cannibals over the next 20 years. Uh, so once again, India, you go. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the two-child pilot. Oh, I'm sorry. This is in just one state in India of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, giving cash benefits to couples who agree to be sterilized. Meanwhile, those who choose to have more than two kids could have their government benefits taken away. Hallelujah. You have a third one of these. Uh, you will lose your welfare benefits if you cannot keep your blankety blank in your pants. Uh, anyway, hallelujah. Cash benefits for voluntary sterilization taking away any government benefits for anybody in India bringing a third child uh, onto this planet. We, I, I am utterly shocked. Uh, you go, India. On World Population Day on July 11th, India proposed a series of fresh population control measures reminiscent of China's now former two-child policy. The slate of proposed measures was announced in two states, okay, Uttar Pradesh, the most populous state in India that is home to more than 240 million people in one state, and the state of Assam in northeastern India. While the country has not yet officially adopted China's now overturned policy of fining couples for having more than two children, these statewide proposals are an attempt to control its fast increasing population numbers. India is currently expected to overtake China as the world's most populous country by 2027. Um, UNICEF estimates that around 25 million children are born every year in India, accounting for one-fifth, one-fifth of the world's annual births. And, you know, they're saying 75% of people being born on this planet and, you know, over the balance of the 21st century will be born in sub-Saharan Africa or India. So, I guess that means sub-Saharan Africa accounts for about 55% in India, 20% of... Uh, mouths hitting the planet. And much of this booming population growth is happening in Uttar Pradesh, which, if it were considered a country, would be the world's fifth largest nation just behind the U.S. and Indonesia. Uh, the proposed new approach to manage its population will span the next decade. Titled the New Population Policy, the proposed measures would reward those who stick to having two kids and punish those who have more than two. Now, they should be rewarding uh, people for having no kids, but I guess these cash payments... <clears throat> Most drastically, Uttar Pradesh's draft bill on population management states that couples with two children who opt for voluntary sterilization would get incentives if one member of the couple goes under the knife for voluntary sterilization the family could get a range of benefits including tax rebates, 
subsidies for home purchases and receiving cash back on their power and utility bills. At the same time, <clears throat> the regulations would bar those who have more than two children from receiving any government subsidies, applying for jobs in the government, and running for political office in local elections. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adayanath yesterday, quote, Increasing population is the root of major problems, including inequality prevailing in the society. Population control is the primary condition for the establishment of an advanced society. One more time, population control is the primary condition for the establishment of an advanced society. <clears throat> Let us on World Population Day take a pledge to make ourselves and the society aware of the problems arising from the increasing population. Close quote. Uh, the draft bill on population control is currently open for public consultation until July 19th. Uh, from there, the bill will be moved to the Legislative Assembly to be read and debated before it can be written into official law. Going up to Assam, where 36 million people live, the state's chief minister, Hamantha Sarma, announced on Sunday that a, quote, population stabilization roadmap will be developed there by the state government. Uh, Sarma earlier has hinted that he would introduce plans to make having two children the norm by withholding subsidies and other benefits to those who choose to have more than two kids. Uh, Assam in 2016 recorded a fertility rate of 2.3 children per family. Um, quoting Sarma, population explosions in some parts of Assam has posed a real threat to the development of the state. India's population control plans come just as China relaxes its two-child limit. On May 31st, China announced a landmark policy shift to allow couples there to have three children in an attempt to raising its flagging birth rate. The change comes five years after the country's 2016 decision to scrap its one-child policy and raise the quota to two kids per family. Anyway, I never thought I would be saying this. You go India. This is the, the most intelligent decision I have heard made by a government agency. I, I have been down here in uh, the Dumasphere for over 10 years. I never expected to read this headline in the mainstream media. Now, of course, you know, they put down there at the bottom that the bill will be debated uh, before being written into final law. So uh, there's a hell of a lot uh, between now and uh, over the next eight days uh, that this thing could be watered down. But anyway, three cheers for India. And uh, I might come back with a second chronicle of the collapse because I've been waiting for this one for three days. Like in post-apocalyptic movies, heat wave killed marine wildlife in mass, but we're going to make that a separate chronicle. 
So, uh, send a letter of appreciation to India for having a brain. India having a brain, not counting the 16 people turning into crispy critters, taking selfies in a lightning storm. Yes, little dog. We might do another. That wasn't too bad. Bye, guys.